VC, how are we? Now I'm not sick, well, not physically anyway. This is a video for an entry for Metal Mickey's 100 subscribers. So if you're not subscribed to him, this is all very weird. If you are subscribed to him, which I'm not sure a lot of you are, if you're watching me, then this all makes sense. Okay, so his 100 subs competition, um, contest, um, basically it's sort of about value, um, prices of albums you bought, sold, whatever, sort of stuff like that. Um, if you're not subscribed to him, subscribe to him. Metal Mickey, he's a great guy, he's funny. Um, he sort of, he should be on way more subs than he is. Um, but I guess, I think other people will discuss it too, that probably he discusses um, taboo subjects. Um, like he'll tell you if he doesn't like a band, like straight up, but he doesn't, yeah, but not in a bad way. He just, you know, he just tells you his opinion and that's, that's his opinion. And he doesn't, doesn't beat around the bush, which, you know, I and a lot of people appreciate. Um, he's got some great stories and yeah, like, you know, and we've been all around his house and one of them, you know, one of these videos or part of it was in the bathroom, so hence, with a robe on and it's my daughter's robe. She'll probably kill me when she finds it, <laughs> watches this video. Um, anyway, Metal Mick, great guy, should be on way more subs, just straight off the cusp, just let you know what he thinks, so it doesn't beat around a bush. Okay, like I'm doing at the moment, let's get, going. Let's get on with it. Alright, so, um, five questions for his 100 contest, um, not his 100, you know, whatever. Um, and yeah, so here we go. So name three most valuable albums according to Discogs, so anyway, when... I think I've got my three most valuables. Um, and what did you pay for them and why? <clears throat> um, some of them, these albums were listed as sold. Some of them are just listed as um, prices that people want. Now, we know that people are just listing ridiculous prices for things. Um, for example, I just saw the other day on eBay, it was a $12,000 ACDC album. And it had some misprint or something like that. Probably rare, but twelve thousand dollars. Come on, like fair dinkum. I don't know. Maybe someone will pay that. I don't know. It's just ridiculous. So um, anyway, so my three most valuable albums according to Discogs. Um, one of them is Black Sabbath Greatest Hits. Great album. Only my well, I only got. A, this is my. I've got two Black Sabbath albums. But yeah, this is a really good album, and this is on the Australian um, issue channel channel seven, basically a TV station records. So seven records. Now, now this is one of the albums that <clears throat> it wasn't actually hasn't been sold. I can't see a I'm sure it's been sold. But I can't see a sold price, but it goes for between I think, ninety nine to one hundred and ninety five dollars. <clears throat> um, so, yeah, I paid $20 um, just from a record shop. So why? That, that was the price on the album. Um, maybe, I mean, generally at record stores, you generally don't get great deals on things that are much more expensive because they're obviously more in the know. Um, but yeah, this is there for $20. I was very happy with that. Snapped it up and then I was quite surprised when I found that it was worth a bit more. So, <clears throat> that one. Second one, The Stones. Um, High Tide and Green Grass with its booklet. Very nice little booklet. I'm a bit restricted with my reach here with my robe. Anyway, the booklet, I'm sure you've all seen it. If you haven't, go, go find it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, now this is a mono pressing from all the the dead wax stamps and labels and the you know all the identifying features. I believe it's a mono. Now I could be a little bit wrong. I could be wrong on this one, but I'm pretty ninety five percent sure. I've checked it out quite a few times. There's lots of presses of this album. Um, but this, if you want to maybe check it out yourself, but that's the codes there. Um, and it doesn't actually say mono on it, but all the dead wax, the stamps, say this is the mono, with all the other features here, with the little signs and symbols, 
So I believe this is uh, the mono pressing. Australian 1964 um, pressing. Now, this was another one that I couldn't get a sold price for, but I saw it was, but it's uh, being, so, being, someone's trying to sell it now for $127. I got it for, I think $1.50 or $2. And why? It's basically, I was in a charity shop and one of the favorite things when we're in there is the store person says, we've just got a box of records come in. Would you like to take a look? <laughs> we love that, don't we? And that was something that was in there. So very, very happy to find that. There was quite a few good scores in there. Um, so, and looking it up, I was quite surprised that it was a mono and it's worth so much. So it's 5% chance I could be wrong with that one. <clears throat> and the third one is the Beatles. Please, please me. Um, yeah, please, please me. Um, their debut album. Now this is a mono, because the code is OPMCO1202. Um, and it's on the label as well, the Parlophone, the PMCO1202. So, what year was this? Uh, anyway, some year. 1960s, something, 62 was it? Something like that. So, yeah, and this was sold for $135. And I picked this one up. I can't exactly remember when or where I picked it up, but I know I picked it up from a charity shop in a bin for less than $5. So really stay with that. Um, yeah, so there's my top three valuable ones. Most unusual packaging. I don't have a lot of unusual packaging one, but this is one that sprang to mind. This is the Yes Triple um, Album, live album of Yes songs. And it's a four quad gatefold with great pictures on there. I have shown this before. Just, I haven't seen too many quad gatefolds. I think there's a Black Sabbath album that's got multiple, um, I think it's like folds out and upside down cross, which has probably got four, maybe six gatefolds. But yeah, what a beautiful artwork. Um, it's like alien sort of landing on the earth and really cool. Really cool stuff. So yeah, that's pretty cool packaging, I reckon. Um, another one is this, um, the Bush Ranger, this is Ned Kelly, famous Bush Ranger in Australia, outlaw, and written by Lionel Long, who's a, in the 60s was a singer and writer and artist and actor. And yeah, so it's just basically a bit of a booklet there. As I say, you know, a little bit unusual with the spine there. Okay. Um, yeah, so that's another one. Another a little bit unusual is this Japanese, just basically dynamic sounds. I just love the way Japanese prepare things, you know. Solid cardboard, and then you've got, you know, you've got your booklet, which is, you know, nothing spectacular, I guess, but, um, and your little lyrics, I guess. And I just love how it's just, you know, this nice soft padding inside here. That's the album, Toshiba, and just lovely sleeve. They just prepare things so well, the Japanese. I just love picking up Japanese um, albums. They're just so well prepared. So, you know, a little bit there, a little unusual, maybe. And last one, as I won't take it out because I don't want to make this video too long. Basically, um, physical graffiti, you know, it's amazing just all the, the apartments, I guess, all the windows and all, everything something happening in every window, you know, people and animals and, all sorts of stuff. It's a really cool gate, uh, not gatefold, really cool um, packaging. So, Led Zeppelin, physical graffiti. Next question, um, what's the most you paid for an album? Uh, yes, showed this recently, $40, $40. ACDC, Dirty Deeds, done dirt cheap. Um, I love it, great album. I actually got told by one of the subscribers, I think his name's Tom Scotland, who told me, because this is a uh, coloured vinyl, that this is actually would be a, a bootleg, because ACDC didn't release any coloured vinyl in Australia. I'm really crouching down here. Um, so, oh well, you know, I'm still very happy with it. Sounds great, looks great, looks like everything's pretty original. Had the all the codes on Discogs that it was um, a third pressing in 19, 
something, but anyway, you don't need to know that. Um, well, 76, but yeah, so $40 is the most I pay for a record. <clears throat> uh, album you regret buying, okay, so this was my previous most expensive one up to a couple of weeks ago when I bought that ACDC one. This is David Bowie, Vision and Sound. Um, this was approved out off eBay, around $38 with um, postage. It's a double live album. It was my first David Bowie album I got. I was really stoked to win the bid. Um, great um, song titles on there. But it just sounds terrible. So it's a live concert in Rotterdam. It, must have, it was an open air thing and it just, you just lose all the... The sound and the oh, it just doesn't sound good. Um, I've tried to sell it again, but I can't even get like twenty bucks for it. So I'm gonna keep it. You got some live David Bowie, you know. I'll keep it. But it's beautiful. It's pretty much near mint, um, mint. But just yeah, it sounds terrible. Unfortunately. <clears throat> Alrighty, another one I regret buying was this I bought the other day. Uh, was not was. Now. Just had it in my head when I saw this, the dinosaur, the dinosaur, the pretty much famous song. I just had it in my head that it was actually Dinosaur Jr. And I thought, oh, Dinosaur Jr., cool, cool. Bought it for 10 bucks, and then, I don't know, obviously, a couple, you know, when I started looking at it, when I brought it home and gonna play it, that's not Dinosaur Jr., it wasn't, it was. You know, it's, it's all right, there's some all right songs in there, just classic 80s music, but cheesy, I don't know, not a great album, but it wasn't what I expected. And yesterday I stopped off at a Salvo's and I regret buying this, Oasis. Don't believe the truth. It's not because it's a bad album, it's because there's... Crikey, crikey, there is no album. Rookie mistake, You've got to look inside. Most times in Salvo's it's actually taped up, so I just presume it's taped up. No album in there. And last question, what do you regret selling? Hasn't been much, but I guess one is comes to mind is the Kiss, it was the solo. So four of them on the front cover and it was a double album and they all basically sung solos on each side. I'm moderately into Kiss. I'm, I want to get some more. I've only got Dynasty, I think. Um, but yeah, I just sort of, I just didn't like that solo album. And so I sold it. And sort of thinking now, maybe I should have kept it. Anyway, that's for Metal Mickey. Hopefully that was okay for you, buddy. Um, you got a great channel. Just keep doing what you're doing. We love what you do, mate. Um, yep, thanks for the tools around your houses. And <laughs> your house. And yeah, be good. Look after yourselves.